BTIS Media presents an enthralling evening of adventure as we embark on a camping journey into the heart of darkness. Our tale begins with a youthful excursion to Palmetto Island, a misnomer of a camping resort enveloped by a lush barricade of palm trees and dense vegetation, creating an illusion of seclusion from the world beyond. This narrative unfolds through the eyes of a nine-year-old whose family tradition of weekend camping takes a sinister turn amidst the deceptive tranquility of the island. The resort, a haven for recreational vehicles and tents, boasted an intricate network of paths reserved for golf carts and small vehicles, weaving through the campgrounds and recreational zones. Our young protagonist, amidst familial laughter at a playground, finds companionship in a newfound friend, only to be left in solitude as dusk embraces the island, familiar with the terrain from previous visits. A confident attempt to navigate back to their campsite spirals into an unforeseen ordeal, leading the child to a boat launch far from the intended destination. In a pivotal moment of vulnerability, the child's plea for directions to strangers intertwines their fate with a lurking danger. A seemingly benign offer for a ride from one of these strangers' morbs into a chilling realization as the car bypasses the campsite entrance, propelling our protagonist into an unimaginable fortuitous appearance of the father, armed and vigilant, thwarts the sinister intentions of the stranger, turning a potential tragedy into a harrowing escape. Parallel to this chilling account, another narrative thread unravels as we delve into the experience of camping on a sprawling 600-acre land owned by a cousin. This idyllic setting its teepee and serene pond becomes the backdrop for an unsettling encounter that blurs the line between the tranquility of nature and its hidden perils. A seemingly innocuous campfire incident sparks a chain of events that culminates in a mysterious shadow, a mistaken identity, and an eerie confrontation that leaves everyone questioning the safety of their secluded haven. As these narratives converge, they weave a tapestry of adventure, danger, and the intrinsic unpredictability of nature. From the deceptive calm of Palmetto Island to the rustic charm of Black Canyon Rim campgrounds, our journey through these tales exposes the thin veil between serene escapades and the lurking shadows within. Join us as we continue to unravel the mysteries and lessons embedded in these camping adventures, reminding us of the delicate balance between embracing the wild and heeding its warnings. As our journey into the wilderness continues, the serene backdrop of Black Canyon Rim campgrounds, nestled just beyond the bustling life of Phoenix, Arizona, becomes the stage for a spine-tingling encounter that would forever alter the essence of a seemingly perfect camping trip. The spontaneity of the escape, driven by the desire to sever ties with the humdrum of city life and the draining demands of customer service jobs, led our adventurers to a late afternoon arrival. Their spirits high with the anticipation of solitude amidst nature's embrace, opting for a spot far removed from the sparse human presence. They found solace in a secluded clearing that boasted a commanding view of the valley below, bathed in the hues of the setting sun. The decision to forgo the tent in favor of the simplicity of sleeping within the car 
under a canopy of stars was a testament to their desire for an unadulterated communion with nature. The first night passed with the comforting crackle of the campfire, the only testament to their presence in the vast wilderness. As the new day unfolded, a sense of unease began to weave its way through the tranquility of their retreat. The occasional rustle of foliage, dismissed initially as the innocuous stirrings of local fauna, began to cast a shadow of apprehension. A subtle whisper of being watched that refused to be silenced. This unspoken tension culminated in a night that would etch itself into their memories with the stark clarity of a nightmare. With the world enveloped in the stillness of night, the gentle breeze through the slightly ajar window was the only sound, a lullaby for the weary. Yet, the peace was shattered by the unmistakable sound of someone or something stirring just beyond the veil of darkness. The initial dismissal of these sounds as the harmless curiosity of wildlife was soon replaced by a palpable sense of dread. The turning point came when the soft glow of a phone, a modern day beacon in the enveloping darkness, became the unwitting herald of a moment frozen in time. The sight that greeted one of our campers was one of primal fear, a pair of hands, marred by the harshness of survival, clasped onto the window. Their intrusion into the sanctity of their temporary abode, illuminated by the phone's backlight. The ghostly condensation of breath on the window pane, punctuated by the obscured visage of an unknown entity, was a silent scream in the night, a visceral reminder of the thin line between the known and the unknown that one treads while venturing into the wild. This chilling encounter serves as the climax of our narrative, a stark juxtaposition to the idyllic beginning of their journey. It stands as a testament to the unpredictable nature of the wilderness, where the beauty and tranquility of the natural world exist in tandem with its untamed and unforeseen elements. As we continue to delve into these tales of adventure and survival, we are reminded of the respect and caution that the wilderness demands, a humbling experience that binds these stories together in the collective memory of those who dare to venture beyond the confines of the familiar. The harrowing encounter in the secluded wilderness marked by a chilling face-off with an unseen entity, underscores the profound vulnerability and unpredictability inherent in venturing into the remote corners of nature. As the figure receded into the night, leaving behind nothing but the haunting imprint of their presence on the window, a cascade of questions and fears flooded the mind of our camper, piercing the silence of the night with the palpable intensity of their ordeal. The aftermath of the encounter was a frenetic blur of action, driven by a surge of adrenaline that shattered the paralysis of fear. The frantic scramble to abandon the campsite, the erasure of the handprints in a desperate attempt to wipe away the tangible evidence of the nightmare, and the precipitous escape down the dirt road encapsulate the instinctual drive to flee from the unknown. The subsequent refuge in the familiarity of a Denny's, a stark contrast to the dark expanses of the wilderness, provided a semblance of normalcy, a place to process and articulate the ordeal that had transpired. The encounter, while fleeting, left an indelible mark on the psyche, 
challenging the conventional understanding of the fight or flight response and unveiling the complex spectrum of human reaction to extreme fear. This narrative segues into another tale of adventure and solitude as the protagonist, drawn to the majestic mountains of North Carolina, embarks on a solo camping trip. The allure of the rugged terrain and the promise of solitude on Cold Mountain beckon with the promise of escape and the thrill of self-reliance. Yet, the absence of a pistol, a stark departure from the usual precautions, foreshadows an undercurrent of vulnerability against the unpredictable forces of nature and the unknown. As night descends on the strenuous trail, the isolation and the challenges of the terrain converge, setting the stage for a night in the wilderness that would test the limits of endurance, courage, and the primal instincts of survival. This narrative, interwoven with the earlier encounter, paints a vivid tapestry of the human experience in the wild, a dance with the sublime and the terrifying, where the beauty of nature and the shadow of its mysteries exist in a delicate balance, compelling us to confront our deepest fears and the essence of our survival instincts. The decision to halt the ascent to Cold Mountain Summit and establish camp as daylight waned was a prudent one. Given the solitude and untouched nature of the trail that had not seen another soul all day, the tranquility of the evening, marred only by the faint, possibly imagined sounds of movement in the vicinity, brought a heightened sense of vulnerability to the fore. The discovery of a peculiar arrangement of twigs and berries by the tent the following morning added an eerie undertone to the departure, fueling an urgent desire to leave the summit unconquered and retreat to familiar ground. The descent, veiled in a thick fog, led to an unintended detour, a misstep that inadvertently steered the hiker away from a tragic fate that befell another on the same trail. The realization of the day's narrow escape, coupled with the unsettling knowledge of an unseen observer, underscored the unpredictable and often unseen dangers that lurk within the wilderness, blending the beauty of nature with an undercurrent of menace. This narrative threads into another tale of solitude and exploration in the vast expanses of North Georgia's old growth forests, a rare remnant of an ancient world untouched by the passage of time and the mark of humanity. The allure of the hemlock and poplar giants, standing as silent sentinels over a land that breathes with a life of its own, beckoned for a day of wandering and reflection. The venture into the heart of this primeval landscape, guided only by a map and an innate sense of curiosity, led to an old field, a natural amphitheater cradled by the embrace of the surrounding hills, the absence of any sign of past human habitation, save for the open space amidst the dense forest, hinted at stories long erased by time, leaving only whispers of the past carried on the wind. These journeys, each unique in their encounters and revelations, weave a complex tapestry of human interaction with the natural world. They reflect the profound impact of solitude, the beauty of untouched wilderness, and the ever-present shadow of the unknown that accompanies our forays 
into the wild as we delve into the mysteries of the forest and confront the limits of our understanding and courage. We are reminded of the thin veil that separates the known from the unseen, urging us to tread lightly and with respect through the ancient lands that hold secrets beyond our comprehension. The serene solitude of the old growth forest in North Georgia provided a stark contrast to the inexplicable phenomena that unfolded under the vast expanse of a starlit sky, virtually untouched by the glare of civilization. The tranquil night, initially dedicated to celestial admiration, took an unsettling turn with the emergence of a mysterious knocking sound echoing from the ridge a rhythmic and powerful reverberation that seemed to pierce the silent majesty of the natural amphitheater, the clarity and consistency of the knocks. Reminiscent of an unseen entity communicating through the ancient timber, instilled a profound sense of intrigue and unease, blurring the lines between the known natural world the realm of the unexplained. This encounter, shrouded in the enigmatic cloak of night, left an indelible mark, fueling speculations of Sasquatch lore or the unsettling possibility of an unknown human presence in such a remote wilderness. The experience, though devoid of any tangible evidence, resonated with a deep primal awareness of the unseen forces that dwell within the depths of the forest. A reminder of the mysteries that persist beyond the reach of human understanding. In a parallel narrative, the Blue Ridge Mountains of Georgia, a segment of the vast Appalachian Trail, became the backdrop for a night of unsettling occurrences that challenged the boundaries of the ordinary. The sight of red glowing eyes in the darkness, an unexplained force near a creek, and the disembodied voice of a woman echoing from all directions wove a tapestry of fear and fascination, a testament to the inexplicable phenomena that lurk in the shadowy realms of nature absence of logical explanations for these events, coupled with the historical context of Blood Mountain and its associated tales, deepened the aura of mystery that envelops the wilderness at night. These narratives, each distinct in their setting and experience, converge on the theme of the unknown that pervades the wilderness, where the beauty and serenity of nature coexist with an undercurrent of mystery and the unexplained. They serve as a poignant reminder of the vast, untamed wilderness that surrounds us, a world brimming with secrets and phenomena that defy explanation, urging us to tread lightly and with respect through the ancient lands that harbor tales as old as time itself. The adventure that began as a spirited road trip through the scenic landscapes of Canada and the serene shores of Lake Ontario took a mysterious turn on the final night in the remote woodlands of upstate New York. The choice of an off-grid cabin nestled in the heart of nature promised an immersive experience into the wilderness a stark contrast to the urban lives of Anna, Charlotte, Lisa, and their adventurous companion. As seasoned scouts, Lisa and her companion were no strangers to the rustic challenges posed by such an environment. Their skills honed through years of navigating the untamed terrains of Europe. However, the absence of modern conveniences, such as electricity, and running water 
coupled with the isolation from cellular connectivity, cast a shadow of apprehension over the city-bred Anna and Charlotte, unaccustomed to the raw embrace of nature. The journey to the cabin, guided only by the faint glow of headlights on murky trails and the reliable yet antiquated assistance of a paper map, was fraught with an eerie sense of disorientation as the GPS signal faded into the void. The unexpected sight of a lone campfire in the desolate expanse of the forest, devoid of any signs of human presence, added an element of mystery to their nocturnal expedition, igniting a flicker of unease among the travelers. Upon arrival, the primitive charm of the logwood cabin, with its external wooden toilet and the absence of prepared dry wood for a comforting fire, presented a stark realization of their complete immersion in the wilderness. The efforts to illuminate the darkened interior with phone flashlights and the struggle to kindle a modest flame in the stove underscored the group's resolve to adapt and make the best of their rustic accommodations. As the night unfolded, the camaraderie and shared tasks of preparing the sleeping arrangements and a simple meal of pasta momentarily dispelled the initial trepidation. However, a whispered revelation between Anna and her companion concerning an old cemetery glimpsed through the forest and a mysterious figure threatened to unravel the fragile sense of security woven throughout the evening. This encounter, set against the backdrop of the secluded cabin ancient woodlands of upstate New York, weaves a tale of adventure, camaraderie, and the timeless allure of the unknown that lurks within the shadows of nature. It serves as a reminder of the thin veil that separates the familiar comforts of our daily lives from the profound mysteries and latent fears that reside in the untouched corners of the world. The tranquility of the night, punctuated by the rhythmic sound of rain and the distant murmur of a creek, provided a serene backdrop for contemplation, a stark departure from the bustling streets of New York City. As the night deepened, an encounter with the unknown shattered the peaceful solitude. The sudden, unearthly roar sliced through the ambient sounds of nature, prompted an instinctive alertness, challenging the logical dismissal of local wildlife behavior. The fleeting glimpse of a towering bipedal figure, cloaked in the camouflage of Autumn's palette, and illuminated momentarily by the beam of a flashlight, transcended the boundaries of the known venturing into the realm of the unexplained. The intense, ephemeral exchange, marked by the reflective glint of eyes in the darkness, evoked a primal fear, a reminder of the vast, untapped mysteries that dwell within the wilderness. The swift retreat and subsequent roar served as a stark catalyst for a hasty retreat to the perceived safety of the cabin, where the tangible security of locked doors and closed curtains offered a fragile barrier against the unknown. The decision to keep the encounter shrouded in silence, born out of a consideration for the peace of mind of the companions, underscored the solitary burden of the experience. The serene dawn that followed, with its clear skies and the tranquil beauty of the forest, 
seemed to erase the traces of the nocturnal encounter, leaving only a haunting memory and a lingering quest for understanding. This narrative, woven from the threads of adventure, camaraderie, and the confrontation with the inexplicable, stands as a testament to the enduring allure and mystery of the natural world. It invites reflection on the untold stories that lie hidden in the shadows of the wilderness, challenging our perceptions and urging us to ponder the mysteries that remain just beyond the reach of the campfire's light. The chilling experience of hearing desperate cries for help in the dead of night, only to be met with the eerie silence and absence of any corroborative witnesses, casts a shadow of doubt and fear. The juxtaposition of the vividness of the auditory encounter against the tranquil indifference of the surrounding campers weaves a perplexing narrative that challenges the boundaries of perception and reality. The unresolved nature of this incident, coupled with the shared certainty between friends and the disconcerting dismissal by others, encapsulates the haunting ambiguity that often accompanies unexplained phenomena in the wilderness. In a similar vein, the unnerving encounter within the confines of a repurposed ambulance, set against the backdrop of woodland and the solitude of night, introduces an element of the uncanny. The disembodied voice, resonating with an inexplicable depth and proximity, blurs the lines between the tangible and the spectral. The speculation surrounding the source of the voice whether a transient intruder or an echo from the vehicle's past amplifies the sense of unease and the lingering dread of the unknown. The surreal encounter with a nearly naked stranger in the remote wilderness of Washington State adds yet another layer to the tapestry of mysterious wilderness encounters. The cryptic utterance Ziping the stats, and the man's silent vigil by the fire pit throughout the night, juxtaposed with the family's heightened vigilance and the tense retreat at dawn, encapsulates the profound disquiet that arises from inexplicable human behavior in isolation. These narratives, each marked by their unique, unsettling encounters, and the lingering questions they leave in their wake underscore the profound impact of the unexplained on the human psyche. They reflect the intricate interplay between the beauty and solitude of nature and the shadowy recesses of fear and mystery that lie just beyond the comforting glow of the campfire. The series of events you've described taps into a deep-seated fear that often accompanies encounters with the unknown, particularly in the isolated expanses of wilderness. Each story, with its unique setting and circumstances, shares a common thread of an unseen or barely seen presence, creating an atmosphere charged with tension and unease. The incident involving the nearly naked man in the wilderness, culminating in the cryptic message left on the car, transforms an already unsettling encounter into something more menacing, suggesting a deliberate attempt to communicate or intimidate. The inability to rationalize the stranger's behavior or understand the meaning behind his message a lingering sense of unease and a plethora of unanswered questions. Similarly, the experience of being followed by a dark, silent figure in the woods, particularly from the perspective of a child, encapsulates the primal fear of being hunted 
or watched the physical closeness of the figure, perceived through the snapping of twigs and an oppressive sense of presence, intensifies the terror of the chase, turning a familiar path through the woods into a nightmarish escape. The recurrence of such a figure during subsequent trips, witnessed by different members of the family, adds a layer of mystery and continuity to the encounters, suggesting either a persistent external entity or a shared psychological phenomenon rooted in the initial experience. These narratives, woven together, underscore the complex relationship humans have with the natural world and the unknown. They reflect the inherent tension between the allure of the wilderness as a place of beauty and solitude and its capacity to evoke fear and mystery through unexplained phenomena. The lasting impact of these encounters, the way they linger in memory and imagination, speaks to the profound effect of the unknown on the human psyche. The experiences you've described tap into a deep, unsettling sense of being watched or followed, not just in the wilderness, but encroaching upon the sanctity of personal spaces, such as your home. The transition of this presence from isolated outdoor encounters to more intimate settings amplifies the discomfort and fear associated with these experiences. The physical interaction, feeling a hand tug at your hair, and the auditory hallucination of hearing your name whispered, underscore a hauntingly personal dimension to these occurrences. The persistence of such experiences, marked by shadowy figures and reflections, and unexplained whispers suggests a phenomenon that straddles the line between the external environment and the internal psyche. Whether these manifestations are rooted in an external entity or are projections of the subconscious, the impact on your sense of security and peace of mind is undeniable. The female voice whispering your name, distinct from the previous ominous presence, introduces another layer of mystery and possibly indicates a separate phenomenon or a deeper, more complex aspect of the original encounters. The clarity of the whisper, coupled with the sensation of a cold breath, points to an experience that transcends simple tricks of the light or imagination. Seeking an explanation for these experiences can be challenging as they reside in the realm of the subjective and the personal. Various interpretations could range from psychological phenomena such as heightened stress or anxiety manifesting in sensory experiences to more paranormal explanations rooted in the presence of an entity or spirit. The key lies in finding a balance between acknowledging these experiences profound impact on your well-being and exploring rational explanations that could offer some solace or understanding. It's important to consider discussing these experiences with professionals who can provide support and potentially offer explanations from both psychological and environmental perspectives. Finding a community or forum where individuals share similar experiences might also provide comfort and possible insights into the nature of these encounters.